Good morning. Today I'm going to show you how to install your clear Invisishield product from Turf Shield. All right. So first, you're going to, want to clean the window really well. So let's get it wet. Take a razor blade, scrape everything down that might be on the glass. Bug grime, leftover film, um, residue, tree sap, just anything that might be on the glass. We're going to scrape it down really good. Get everything off that glass, cut the surface, get it nice and clean. Recommend a stainless steel blades as they don't typically scratch. Wet it down again, obviously. This is the best way to clean. Dry up the edges. Paper towel. Basically, I'm just taking the contaminants off of the glass. Okay, everything that we scraped up is now loose. So we're just cleaning the glass. Squeegee is probably one of the best things you can do. Now, the difference between the Invisi Shield products we have and the clear screen, the clear screen goes on dry, but the Invisi Shield does go on wet. All right, so now that it's nice and clean, take a look, nothing's still there. Flush it out, and then let me grab the film. All right, so we have here our Invisi Shield. As you can tell, it's got a slightly blue tone to it. Rolling it up is a good way to control it. Roll it up with the liner on the inside, okay? So this is gonna be the best way to control. In all window film installations, basically the better you can control the film, the better the install is gonna be. But number one, get it clean. Number two, get it nice and tight so you can control it. The removable liner is on the inside. I used the piece of tape that came off of it to open up that liner. Can you see that? So, let's give it a little spritz. Let's get this nice and wet again. Like I said, this is a wet install. Pull off any kind of contaminants that might be there. Wet the film. We wet the film a little bit so that that liner has a little bit of vacuum from the, the water to stick to itself. Open it up. Just a little bit. Once again, keep in control. Close it down. Get yourself comfortable working one edge across. Now, sometimes the film will want to stick a little bit prematurely, which that's okay. Just work it down. Pull the liner off so the liner is now on the outside. It was on the inside. I reverse rolled it off to the exterior. Now, it's stick a little bit here. Just remove the soapy water which is basically a slip agent so it allows you to move it where you want. Line up the top with a little bit of a gap so that it doesn't you don't really want it touching the frame. Hard squeezing. Let the adhesive start bonding in place. Get it wet. Lock out your sides so you don't have contaminants coming down. Water's a vehicle. Water will pull contaminants into the film, okay? So you lock it out. Now you can do little side relief cuts. Just like that. Just like that. Now we're going to trim our edges. Give a little bit of lube. I usually recommend using a trim guide of some type, something like that. You can get, them, uh, get something similar at Home Depot called a five way. Keep good pressure so it's consistent. Like that. Let's get the other side. Do a little, little slippy right there. Come down, have the same angle coming up to meet it so that the cuts are consistent. That. You always want to go from an edge to the center because once you start going to the edge, you're spinning the blade a little bit and you'll tend to uh, make a miscut at the edge, which is unsightly. So wet it down again. We're going to give one more good squeegee, hard squeegee. Push out as much water as you can. That'll make it dry faster and more consistently. Okay. Push it all out. Work your way down. 
Get the edges all the way out. You push it all the way out. Get the water to come back out of anything there. Use your clean squeegee to take off a little bit of stuff that's right there. Now we're going to use a little hard card. You can use something that you've got wrapped in a paper towel, something a little rigid. To, it's called hard carding your edges. Just block out your edges. Mop up the rest of the water that might be coming down here. If you have a lot of water coming down, it still might be a little bit tight on the top. So at that point, I'd probably encourage you to trim off just a little bit. Very carefully. Just to make sure you got a nice even consistent surface there. Let's see. Did anything come off? Sometimes it's hard to see. No, we're good. It's just coming down. Block out your edges, blot them up. Get that adhesive. Oh, a little tiny piece of it. A little tiny bit of the uh, moisture. Get rid of it. all the way around. Dry it up, and there you have it. A nice clean installation protecting your turf. Thanks guys, I hope this helped. Have a good day.